Now, unfortunately, it turned out that the, uh, the success uh, that had been experienced turned out to be uh, uh, somewhat short-lived uh, because of some unfortunate circumstances that came up uh, in some point in 2007. And this is where the story kind of shifts a little bit more into your direction. Um, at some point uh, in February, uh, there was uh, a, an occurrence, and uh, we're going to try to sum this up because I think we're going to hit this more in depth at some later period, but can you just kind of lay out the basic framework of what had been going on and it led up to this? Yes, sir. Uh, Larissa and I uh, officially uh, moved into our home uh, the 1st of January mm -hmm. of 2007. We had been moving furniture and everything out of the house in Florida since November of 2006. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we call the official day, and I like to say this, Larissa was already living in the house, but we decided on January January 1st that the official day that we moved in, because that was the day that uh, I carried Larissa literally over the threshold through the front door into the house. And uh, that, was, that, was, that was a really good day. Uh, I have my own business in Hopa, uh, Virginia, called the Gun Ranch too. Uh, unbeknownst to me at that time, the uh, ATF was running a sting operation on the on the business. And while the Roots and I were, were celebrating on the ride together, on February 13th, uh, 2007, uh, I was taking the risk of not and I was taken to the doctor and I had a call to go into my business uh, from the Prince George Police Department and said that they asked for property to return to me although I wasn't missing any property. Okay. The, um, once I finished taking the risk to the doctor, I went to my business and the parking lot was full of undercover uh, police cars, which I soon discovered to be that of ATF. And on arriving in my parking lot, I, well, I called Larissa on my cell phone to let her know that I wasn't sure what was going on, but for her to not come in, I didn't know what was going on, but hopefully we, we would have it straight. Mm -hmm. Once I got to my parking lot, I was surrounded by no less than 20 ATF agents who all had machine guns pointed at my head. Uh, and they arrested me uh, on two violations. One, uh, the federal codes were 18922 and federal codes 18924. Uh, let's, let's repeat those one more time and, and, and full volume just so everybody knows this for the record. Right. All right. There were, there were two charges. There was an 18922 charge, there was an 18, these are federal codes, yeah. and 18924. What those stand for is this was the sale of a firearm uh, to a convicted felon. Now, in this particular case, it was done through a straw purchaser, which happened to be uh, a paid informant uh, for the ATF. Mm -hmm. And what that informant had done, they had come in, uh, purchased a firearm, and then gave, with uh, the proper background checks, and we called it in, uh, and was approved by the Virginia State Police. Then they, in turn, gave it to a convicted felon who was also another undercover CI uh, with the ATF. And that was really the whole case. Uh, all they had to say was, is that their undercover paid informants we're willing to testify that I knew that this transaction was going to go on in, in play. 